Now, we discussed the petition for review on certiorari before the Honorable Supreme Court. Mary, Mary maintains that the Regional Trial Court committed, committed grave abuse of discretion. Okay. What is the reason behind this? According to Mary, when it ordered the case to proceed in the state, the Regional Trial Court committed grave abuse of discretion. Because again, the general rule is if there is a last will and testament executed by the decedent, it should be the probate of the last will and testament that should be given precedence before any interstate proceeding. Okay? According to Mary, the probate of the decedent's last will and testament is mandatory. That is correct. But that is on the assumption that the last will and testament is void, uh, is valid. Okay? Not void, sorry. But in this case, it may be, may be extrinsically valid, but it is definitely intrinsically valid. Okay, the contents due to preteration. According to Mary, the order setting the case for probate already attain, attained finality. I don't believe that. When the, any order from the court setting the case for probate, that cannot attain finality. That is what you call uh, for lawyers an interlocutory order versus a final order under the rules of court or motion for reconsideration or motion for new trial. An uh, order can only attain finality after a few, after a certain period, after a certain number of days. But that rule refers to a final order. It should be distinguished from one that is an interlocutory order. Those are two species, no? like a cat and a dog. They are not the same, but they are both orders. Okay. According to Mary, the probate court cannot touch on the intrinsic validity of the will. That is also correct, no? As a general rule, no? However, if the will is on its face, void, no? The court was prudent enough to determine if in fact it was really void. And the court, remember in the previous video, we discussed the... There was an evidentiary hearing and there was a reception of evidence during that evidentiary hearing to resolve the motion to... Uh, dismiss the probate proceedings okay so that point no the court has the discretion to provisionally check if the will is intrinsically intrinsically valid because if it is intrinsically void it will waste years of litigation to probate the last will and testament which dwells as a general rule on extrinsic validity of the will formalities According to Mary, there was no preterition because Joey received a house and lot inter vivos as an advance on his legitimate. So that is a good argument. That is now, that sentence is very crucial in helping understand why. Remember the questions that we asked ourselves in the earlier videos. Why is there the need to do an evidentiary hearing to determine the issue of preterition? Can you just not look at the last will and testament and if an heir is not part of the last will and testament did not receive any inheritance from the last will and testament that is it is it not automatic that there is preterition the answer is no because even if an heir did not receive any inheritance from the last will and testament if during evidentiary hearing and there is successful reception of evidence to prove that there is no preterition uh, evidence may be received to prove that he may not be receiving anything by way of disposition through the last will and testament. But what if he received something else through advanced legitim, like by way of donation interviews, the ordinary donation, the decedent maybe during his lifetime or her lifetime donated to Joey. So that is an advanced inheritance that will cease, that will kill the ground of preterition. Because preterition only applies, will only occur if there is an absolute zero, okay? A perfect disinher uh, absolute uh, terms, no? Like the air, the compulsory air in the direct line did not or will not receive anything, not a single centavo. The moment that air will receive one centavo, once it is not an absolute form of absolute act of disinheriting the compulsory heir in the direct line. 
through the disposition in uh, last will and testament once he will receive something no matter how small there can be no preteration preteration is either you see you receive something or you did not receive anything that is preteration okay if you receive something less that is not preteration okay so it does not mean that you not you do not have a remedy but that is not preteration so except for this last argument that Joey received a house in Latin intervivos, therefore he was not preterited. I agree with Mary when it comes to this. No, with all due respect, I do not agree with Mary with all her arguments. The only problem with this last argument, which I agree, the last argument that Joey received a house in Latin intervivos, I agree with this argument. The only problem is this story is not supported by evidence. Why? Because Mary did not show up during the evidentiary hearing. Mary did not show up during the reception of evidence for the evidentiary hearing. So there is no evidence to support the fact that Joey received a house and lot inter vivos. Therefore, there is no evidence to prove that he was not preterited. So the only logical conclusion for the trial court would be to rule and find that Joey was preterited, that there is preterition. Recall, Mary did not participate in the evidentiary hearing. She was absent during the reception of evidence. I really don't understand why she was not present during the evidentiary hearing. I do not know what she was thinking, why she did not present any evidence during the reception of evidence, if she had any evidence. It was scheduled several times. There were several postponements postponements on the account of Mary, but still she did not show up. Okay. So that is her loss. That is her that you you cannot blame the court for that. Okay. That is the litigant's problem. It is not in the decision why she did not show up. Okay. But the fact is she did not show up and she effectively waived her right to present evidence to prove that there is no preterition. So there will be more lessons from the Supreme Court decision. I'll see you in the next video.